Bonjour. Ça va? Je m'appelle Pavlin, je suis bulgare. Qu'est-ce qui c'est? And with this, my French is over. The GPS brought me to one very, very beautiful, like a mountain path. And I've never been happier to use the GPS because I don't have map and I hated this situation. To don't know where I am, but the area is just fantastic, fantastic. So these are these are real French cows that probably make a real French cheese. Yeah, as I said, I don't like GPSs, but this is probably a connection between two roads that I use and it gave me the chance to to see all of this Ten past seven. I slept very very well packed the tent now all good it was raining almost all night luckily my tent is good it has 5,000 millimeters of water column does not leak at all it is uh, proven many times in many many nights in many trips so I don't have any problems with the tent just need to take this garbage with me and I'm ready to go because they don't have bins here probably find somewhere on the top Yes, this night here, this camping was a good option because it was cheap for 14 euros I spent the night otherwise I told you 60 was the minimum I, anyway let's continue now the plan today is to reach Italian Italian border or Italy and then stop I would like to make at least something like five six hundred kilometers maybe a little bit more but we'll see will it be possible when I'm strict it will be start with this wonderful road through the forest I filled the tank yesterday so I don't need to worry about it on the first open coffee or petrol station I'm gonna have one coffee of course as usual the breakfast will be later but the phone starts early morning 10 minutes away from the camp and I'm already on this beautiful road and of course it is only for me no traffic This was wonderful, like 30 minutes early morning refreshment and now I'm gonna get this speed roads more likely like highway at least it has some views luckily after 40 kilometers the GPS get me out of the highway probably to make some kind of connection but anyway I'm glad to be out Somewhere here I should be able to find something to eat
maybe here will be the breakfast maybe not I really cannot understand it's not that I'm complaining but I set the GPS to use non-pay highways and uh, and that's it which is mean that it's supposed to guide me on the main fast speed roads or non-paint highways but it's brought me to these beautiful roads I really enjoy it but I just cannot understand maybe they don't have a connection from one high to another here and that's why the GPS brought me to through the mountain I mean they don't have free of charge connection between the highways that's why I've got this loop around these villages which is by the way fantastic I enjoy it so much I just cannot understand why what a wonderful journey to the French villages and mountains thanks to the GPS the first time that I'm thankful that I got it still nothing open 8.30 ah, this is open maybe Bonjour, café? Oui. Oui, merci. All right, I got the necessary coffee dose and the lady told me that after six kilometers there will be a place to eat something. And I can see that this is some kind of pass over the mountain. Very well. Yes, it looks like like pass that will go on the other side of the mountain now when I reach this village with the croissants or whatever they've got there I will check on Google Maps where exactly I am because I hate this situation to not know where exactly I am at the moment that's why I never use GPS but now at the moment it is what it is this should be the village and probably this should be the place let's see now by the way the elevation here is 1400 meters maybe here I'll find something to eat bar resto well it's not here <laughs> this gentleman over there told me after 10 kilometers the lady said six this is the town after six or village he said 10 kilometers whatever i'm on a mission to find my breakfast not that i want it but it's just nice to stop and eat something in this area whatever it's a pleasure anyway now i got it the village that i just stopped to ask for croissants was the top of this pass 1400 meters and now I'm going down on this beautiful road. Excellent. Bonjour. Ça va? Je m'appelle Pavlin, je suis bulgare. Qu'est-ce qui c'est? And with this, my French is over. The GPS brought me to one very very beautiful like a mountain pass and I've never been happier to use the GPS because I don't have map and I hated this situation to don't know where I am but the area is just fantastic fantastic so these are these are real French cows that probably make a real French cheese yeah as I said I don't like GPS's but this is probably a connection between two roads that I use and it gave me the chance to to see all of this so even more surprises from the GPS <laughs> wow 
whatever. Beautiful village, beautiful. So now here left, left, okay, left. Even if I wanted, I wouldn't be able to make such a <laughs> wonderful route through this area, honestly. So the GPS got excellent from me. Excellent. And if I find a place to eat, will be even better. As I told you, it's not that I'm hungry, it's just to stop and enjoy the the place Isn't it? Finally found a place open, so eventually I will be I'll be able to eat something eventually because I don't know. I was able to make some kind of breakfast. I got croissant from this bar, and then three bananas from this shop. Uh, I got one coffee, and I believe that I'm ready to continue now. I checked with Google Maps and I understood what exactly is the situation. One of the highways that I was using going from north to south and the second that I have to be after that is again from north to south and what I'm doing now is a shortcut between these two highways because there are no other options that's why I got these wonderful roads so I did not uh, expect this and it is just like a bonus okay this now is the main road N88, I believe. Yes, N88. But I'll be there for a while. One kilometer, and then I'll leave it again. This is again a road number 88. It looks like it is going to rain, at least I already got a few drops.
2 o'clock in the afternoon, temperature dropped to 23 degrees. The pass is open. I hope it is not going to rain. I stopped for a while to go to one coffee, but very fast, just three minutes, because now the moment does not rain. I hope that I will be able to go through without the rain, because I really hate this dress, undress, remove the camera, put the camera on. And I saw many motorcycles came from other side. None of them was with uh, rain gear. So I hope I will be able to. Unfortunately, it is not going to happen yet. Let me see where I can stop to put my rain gear. 